I mean, we did just come out of a pandemic. Maybe budget cuts are the reason why they haven't renewed my contract. Look, man, quit your bitching. I can find you another gig. All right. Yeah, I know you can find another gig, man, but I, I just don't want to keep bouncing around my whole life. I, I, I don't want to have to start somewhere else, somewhere new. That's the thing, I like it in Moxie. And I could use some stability for a change. Mackenzie, please. In between your distractions and the goddamn kids screaming, eat a dick, I can't get one fucking headshot. Luke, over it. let me get a crack of that little shit. What the fuck? Am I the only one working? Oh, I manage talent, not boxes. <laughs> Did you know you got talent for moving boxes? I can exploit that, you know. Yeah, apparently. <sighs> Now, could someone please explain to me why I can't bring Vince to help again? Fuck him, that's why. <laughs> you heard the lady. What about Joey? I knew you guys would do nothing while I did all the work, so I called Vince anyway. You better keep him away from me and mine. You know what? You two mandatory hooked up. That's the only explanation. Watch it, Quentin or else I'm paying my half of the rent in pennies. Go ahead, pay her in pennies. See what happens. <laughs> That's why you losing anyways. Don't be petty, Candace. We should actually be thanking them. Uh, me. Fine. Oh no, don't tell me I missed it. No, you're actually right on time. Oh, damn it. Ugh, of course you would reek of pot. You know what's up. Yes. Ah, fucking Richard. Who? Uh, network tool. You ever gonna explain your beef with him? What's to explain? He's the Batman to my Joker. And much like Bruce Wayne, he's a delusional clown who thinks he runs shit. Uh, he doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> Young, sweet, naive, arty. I love how you can see the best in everybody. That's nice. But trust me on this one. He can eat a dick. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yes, dear. Loud and clear. Oh, you look a little tired. Have you been sleeping? Yeah, I've, um, I keep having this dream that I'm flying and I'm flying so high and so fast that I panic and crash to the ground. Has this been affecting your personal life? Not in any way that I've noticed. Oh, well, then don't trip, kid. You look a little rough. Hey, take it from me, a psychiatrist and your mother. Trust me when I say this. Live a little. Take your mind off things. Yeah, take your foot off the gas. Easier said than done. Just make sure you take care of you. Don't let your anxiety get the best of you. Hey, I wanted to thank you for showing me Reddit. I made a killing on GME stocks. Diamond hands, baby. He won't get off that thing. Hey, do you know what a glizzy goblin is? It was the top comment on a post. Dad, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, glizzy goblin? Hey, what about that girl? What was her name again? Mackenzie. Did you finally ask her out? Yeah, what's the holdup, you glizzy goblin? <laughs> we both have a lot on our plates, and I'm still adjusting to things here. 
Sounds to me like you're adjusting to a life of celibacy. Can we please not discuss this? No, son. You need to hear this. You need to get out there and clap some cheeks. Okay, Dad, you need to get off of Reddit. But your dad has a point. Not that long ago, you were sleeping on our couch. So, yes, go enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And that doesn't mean turning into Count Fabula. Okay, I have to go. It's getting late. We love you. And remember, remember, Artie. He who hesitates, masturbates. Okay, love you, bye. Dude, Lauren's looking shaky today. Mm, brings back memories of his interview. Haven't you two heard of social distancing? I think your boss in the room putting you on edge. Better get it together, Artie. The higher ups are visiting and they can smell fear. You know the saying, Artie. Last one hired, first one fired. Is that a thing? Oh, babe, pick an arm won't help. What's he worried about Richard for? I'm the brains of this operation. If the network's gonna go after anybody, it's gonna be me. Point taken. Glad you see it my way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Artie's come a long way. Yeah, he's just worried about his contract. We all have. <laughs> that pandemic fucked us. So oh, disrespectfully, not sexually. Set production back big time. Mm. Artie's a talented guy. Ripley likes him. We're just waiting for the green light up top. Where is Ripley, by the way? Mm. Jake, I really don't have time for your shit today. Damn, Ripley. Do you always run on CPT? You know, cartoon people time. <laughs> cartoon people time. Yeah, that's funny considering the source. Uh, have you uh, thought about trying your hand at stand-up? Well, now that you mention it. Don't. Okay. I'm serious. Take your circus somewhere else. The last thing I need is you and Vince running around together. Hey, is that any way to talk to your older brother? Sadly it is, because that's the only way I can get it through your thick skull. You're the one who got me that food truck and told me to start acting like an adult. Sure I did. But like I said, I'm working under the gun here. Last thing I need is to babysit my little big brother. <sighs> Look, just do your thing, but stay out of my way, okay? Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to sit this meeting out. So go rally the troops. I'll handle things here. Thanks. Jake, you've got five seconds to disappear. Oh, don't you dare. I mean, thing is, I got an egg in my shoe. It wasn't funny the first time, it sure isn't funny now. So, you want me to beat it or not? Oh, I get it. I like that. Ladies, the head bitch in charge would like to have a word. My bad. All right, let's get the mushy gushy shit out of the way because mom is feeling so generous. I just want to thank you all for your hard work. Each and every one of you should really pat yourselves on the back. Do it. All right, now for the meat and potatoes. We are having a visitor basically come in to check on the network's investment. All of you are adults, with the exception of Vince, so you should be good. I resent that. Excuse me. No, no, you draft. <laughs> My brother will be on the lot with his food truck all week, so lunch is on me today. We are untraceable. Let's wrap up this work day. Jesus, Kim Possible. Easy on the larynx. Oh, please, I barely touched you. Look, I'm not in the mood for you and my brother today. Once you're done recording, go home. Don't hang around here together, because you two are a disaster waiting to happen. Mm. Outside of voice acting, you know cooking is my passion. You can't keep me out of the kitchen. Hmm. You must be real proud of yourself. Mm. A voice actor, moonlighting as a cook. Mm -hmm. A real jack of all asses. Mm -hmm. Just remember I warned you. Bro, you know she's serious this time, right? Do you know something I don't know? Me? Nah. It's your funeral. Hey, uh, Artie, would you kindly tell Joey to fuck off? I don't know, man. He's got a point. You might want to be cool. Uh, you know it damn well. Whoa. I had to. I don't care if her husband wasn't there. What you got is so much better. 
Yeah, you scored big time. Whoa, my man! All right, now you and I will walk out. How could you want anything else? That's what I'm saying. I'm automatically attracted to beauty. It's like a magnet. I just go for it. I don't even wait. When you're a celebrity, they let you do it, you know. You're doing them a favor. You bet your ass I am. <laughs> you know what I always say. <laughs> Grab them by the taco. That's right, America. Taco Crunch Cereal is back, and we want to make breakfast great again. So hurry now, my proud boys and girls. Go out there and grab them by the taco. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie. Did Artie tell you he used to work in advertisement? <laughs> no, but I'd love to hear about it. There's not much to say aside from the fact that I hated it. Oh, you're just being modest now. I worked in advertisement until they tried to get me to do a commercial for taco-flavored cereal. Taco-flavored cereal? Whose idea was that? My boss was such an asshole, he even tried to convince me with a raise, but it was just a lifetime supply of the shit. Well, that's behind you. Look where you are. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Considering you almost choked and dropped the ball? You will not let that go, will you? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Good news is you met the deadline. Bad news is a few of your lines are sloppy. We're running on a tight schedule and we can't afford to waste time on careless mistakes. Unfortunately, I can't hire you right now. You're kidding. Sorry, Q. I don't see how he'll make the cut at his current skill level. I'm sorry, Artie. No hard feelings, but that's just showbiz. Not my proudest moment, but I did go back and demand a second chance. Okay, because of me. You know I couldn't let you go down like that. See, it takes a village to raise this idiot. Mm -hmm. Candace, I would like to personally welcome you to our village. To Granddaddy Brooks. The foundation of our village. To Granddaddy Brooks. Brooks. Granddaddy Brooks? I took a couple of grams of that, you feel me, dog? You're literally the worst. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember when he beat up those Jehovah's Witnesses? Yo, do I? It was like six on one. He wanted that shit on his tombstone. <laughs> that old man was nuts. You know he asked about you in his last few moments. He did? Yeah. And then he said some racist shit towards white people, like I've never heard before. He kept calling you pale face Tom. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> I miss him. You too. Yeah. Hey. It's finally free. You should play with me. I don't know. What, you scared you're gonna get whooped? Um, actually, I was gonna ask if you were afraid to lose. Yeah, I don't think so. Come on. <laughs> uh, you're on. Yeah, okay, let's see. Well, dear, this is starting to get interesting. So what's up, girl? We linking up tonight? Shave the old coin purse for the occasion. Ugh, get away from me. And keep your voice down. I don't want anyone to know that we hooked up. Are you still mad about the whole Donald Duck thing? Shut up! Struck that again? Oh, no, 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 she's just putting up a front. You two are toxic. No secret there. Uh-huh. There's something wrong with you. Shut your mouth. How's the job hunt going? Ugh, I hate it. I can't wait until we're sponsored. You'll find something. And you have Candace in the meantime. And you're lucky you're dealing with Quentin because his granddad threw someone out the window for being late on rent. I thought Quentin was bullshitting. He really misses him. He doesn't bring it up a lot, but it's definitely weighing on him. He talked about him a lot. Yeah, he was, uh... The same with his dad when he died, but he refuses to talk about it. He says, and I quote, 
Black men don't talk about their feelings, <laughs> which I don't know, that statement in itself feels problematic. <laughs> There's not much we can do, but just be there for him. Given time, hopefully he'll just open up to someone. Mm. I think we should call it a night. Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Let's roll. Ripley tell you what's up with this visit? She didn't say much. My guess, it's just not a routine visit. You okay with uh, Richard being around her? <laughs> you mean I'm okay with my girlfriend being around her boss who happens to be a creep? No, not really. I don't blame you, but uh, Ripley can take care of herself. I know, that's what I love about her. Our budget kind of depends on this visit, so I'm just gonna be cool. Well, whatever happens, it's been great working with you, man. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, that's good. We yeah. got this. Yeah, we got this. Mm -hmm. Dick has never gotten the best of me. Ripley Supo, as beautiful as ever. Dick. Or do you still prefer Richard? Dick suits you better. Just as charming, too. Mm. You remember Stanley? Stanley, we weren't expecting you. Mm. Apparently they want to make sure our uh, past doesn't influence my decision making. Oh boy, this is gonna be so much fun. Tex, you wouldn't mind if I shattered you today, would you? It, it, it's not an evaluation. I'm just here to observe your competence with it being animation. Ooh, fun. Mm. You know, I, I realize that my reputation is more favored towards live action, but I've had no, no difficulty with this transition, believe you me. Well then, shall we? <sighs> what do you want, Richard? I want many things in this world. I would be content with just a second date. <laughs> Please get over yourself. We went on one date years ago, during my starving artist days, mind you. You just happened to catch me on a night I didn't want ramen for dinner. One day I'll prove to you I've changed. And I still won't care. We have some more investors in line, but they require a few Shameless plugs and promotions. Oh, absolutely not. I am not going to another energy drink convention. Those are not the only investors interested. The show's been getting a lot of attention. I'm talking beer companies. That's huge. Hmm. Just draw a character using one of their products or something. You're the artistic one. And then you guys can use the money to raise your chances of renewal. Son of a bitch. I'm in. Now for pressing matters, you need to get rid of Vince. What? Ugh. I don't like that Richard dude. Is this what I look like when I freak out about my contract? Are you still on that? Dude, you are unhinged. Look, I can't work knowing Freakazoids in there around Ripley. <laughs> that is so precious. <laughs> you understand. If you ever finally make your move on Mackenzie. Baby steps. Man, our relationship right now could not be better. <laughs> sure it can. Just ask her out. For the last time, I'm not firing Vince. You were made for this, you know. Don't let being lax on that knucklehead be your downfall. Get him under control. There won't be a second chance for him. Look, I know he's a pain in the ass and his recklessness makes him unpredictable, but He's one of the best we got, and I trust him with my vision. That's not something that can be bought. Just think it over. All right, we've spent way too much time on this topic. Don't worry about it. All right, he's my headache to deal with. I'll keep him under control. Looks like it's time to wrap things up. That leaves room to convince you to join me for dinner or a weekend in Bora Bora. Thanks, but I'm good, buddy. Now that our business is over, I get the pleasure of telling you to get out of my office. Till next time. The Bloods or the Crips? I, I mean, <laughs> he has the ability to... Richard? 
Hmm. Joey, if memory serves. Don't play dumb. You know who I am. Where's Ripley? What's it your business? Uh, she's my boss. It's my business to report to her. Hmm. Good to see the hired help knows his place. Oh, yeah? Hey, uh, remember me? I'm... I'll be keeping an eye on you, Joey. All right, we'll see. The fuck was that? Sorry, I lost my cool. No, not that. Dude completely ignored me. Really? Tell me he's finally leaving. Oh, it's finally over. Tech should be wrapping things up as we speak. Awesome. You seem like you need a hug. Thanks. It's gotten into you. <laughs> <laughs> seem like you just need a hug. I love you. Oh my god. What? You just said that you love me. Oh shit, did I? So what? Wanna fight about it? Okay, I should leave you two alone. Good idea. Hold on. Where the fuck is Vince? Huh? Uh... Motherfucker! All right, one at a time, people. There's enough reaper treats for everyone who wants one. Step on up. One at a time now. My sister's going to kill us. Will you relax? We are fine as long as we keep it low-key, like midget doors. Hmm. Well, well, well. If it isn't Vince the Prince. I thought they would have fired you by now. Who the fuck invited Bert and Ernie? Even worse, you even managed to bring the rest of Sesame Street. Hmm. Amusing. Well, slightly anyway. We are studio neighbors after all, you blockhead. Hmm. Last puppet had a clever comeback. Have you switched hands, Randall? It's never the same when you switch hands. Don't you dare think I forgot about the last puppet you ruined. How about you run back to Sesame Street? I hear they finally passed Prop 8.5 for puppet marriage. Get a room while you're at it. Celebrate! Ripley wasn't kidding. You guys work next door to puppets. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to work next to public access trash. I mean, who names a science show String Theory? That's actually pretty clever. That's besides the point. Fuck puppets. Now let's get back to passing out these brownies. Shit! Ripley! Uh, what brings you out here? We should probably run right about now. Yep. Sit down. This? This is a whole new level of fucked selling space cake on studio ground? Look, sis. Not now, Jake. Richard, I'm so sorry. I will take full responsibility for my brother's behavior. Someone has to. Ripley, you know what you have to do. You're right. You're right, it's time I do this. Ripley, come on. You don't have to do this. Nah, Jake, it's cool, man. I fucked it. I'm sorry I dragged you along. You two will have plenty of time to kiss and make up outside of studio grounds. Shut up, Richard! I got this. Tex, this may hurt me, but it's been a long time coming. Finally. Richard! You are absolutely repulsive. And you have no right marching in here telling me how to do my job. Well, I... Not another word, Richard. Vince? I'm gonna ask you once, so don't you fuck with me on this one. How many people did you sell your brownies to? Oh, a good seller yeah, never reveals its buyers. No, no, please, come on, don't, don't make me tell. <sighs> Makes no difference anyway. Tex, just send everyone home. You got it. This is coming out of your paycheck. Eh, don't you complain. I want all the money that you made too. Consider it a hustle fee. It was a dick move on my behalf. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. But don't be mad at Jake. He tried to talk me out of it. I'm sorry, sis. As you can see, I have everything under control. The studio won't be happy with the delay. <laughs> they won't find out. We'll meet our deadline. See that you do. <sighs> I want to see you in my office. I want my money, bitch. Let's 
get out of here. Yeah. What's up, nerds? <laughs> Dude, please tell me they fired your ass. Nope, not yet. Uh, thankfully, Ripley had some other plans, I guess. What the fuck? How are you not fired? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Edward? <laughs> Pattinson? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm fine. It's just... Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. He needs a beer. This yeah. guy needs a beer. Drinks. Yes. Cervezas. Yes, let's do it. Hey, uh, you got any more of those brownies? Oh, absolutely. Come on, boss. <laughs> Beers. Oh, dude, you smell like piss. Human piss. Hopefully. I, I mean, or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just a little piss. It's not bad. <laughs>